Hey everyone, it's Conrad Bobulak here, author of Australian Property Finance Made Simple and director of Investors Prime Real Estate. And I've made this very short video for you today just talking about my company and what services I actually provide because I've had a lot of inquiries from different people who have subscribed to this YouTube channel asking me what exactly do I do as a real estate agent in Melbourne, <clears throat> what areas do I focus on, what are the services that I provide. So I wanted to give you this video to explain exactly what I do and who I work with just to make sure that you know you have a clear understanding of exactly what I do. Um, now, number one is a bit of background about myself before I talk about my company. I've got a very kind of technical, almost boring <laughs> background, but I've done a lot of things. Um, I'm a real estate agent, obviously, because I run a real estate company. Um, <clears throat> but my background is predominantly banking and finance. In fact, uh, in fact I spent years in doing lending for um, one of the major banks. And at the end, I retired from a company called Medfin, which was a subsidiary on the, um, of NAB, uh, a public listed company as well. Um, I've also <coughs> did a diploma of financial planning, financial services back in the day when I used to work for Australian Union Funds Management, where I used to look after unlisted property trusts. Um, more importantly, over the years, I've managed to build a large property portfolio, a multi-million dollar property portfolio with myself and my wife. So I'm a real investor with hands-on experience. Um, my passion is education, and that's why I've done this YouTube channel in the first place, just to educate investors like yourselves about what it is really to, what does it take to build a large property portfolio. And you would have seen the videos that I've done over the last 12 months detailing different aspects of building wealth through property. I'm getting a lot of inquiries from you guys, which is great, about what services I provide. Not only from Australia, in fact, I've got inquiries from Dubai, New Zealand, South Africa, Europe, US. So I wanted to make this video just to clarify this is exactly what I do, and this is the only thing that I do, and this is the only type of clients that I tend to work with. Um, by the way, my book is out already, $32.95, and good news is I'm just about to complete my next book, which is Australian Real Estate Investing Made Simple, which hopefully will be out end of this year. I'm 95% finished writing the book, but I've been procrastinating big time, uh, just been so busy honestly taking a lot of holidays <laughs> and uh, going to the gym too much. So uh, I'm hoping to, I'll, I'll finish this off this year definitely. I'm hoping to get out by Christmas 2017, but we'll see what happens. Now, who's Investors Prime Real Estate? What do we do exactly? And which areas do we target? What services do we provide? Before I answer that question, let me just give you a bit of an understanding about the whole industry and who the players are, okay? So first of all, you could different types of listings in real estate. You have on the market listings, and this is where property is being actively marketed and advertised to the general public, including real estate agents, via emails to other agencies, databases, print media. This is where majority of properties get sold in Australia. Okay, they're listed on realestate.com domain, they're advertised by agents. Because remember, the most common property out there is an owner occupied detached house. That's the most common property in Australia. <clears throat> um, on the market listings are fine and you do get good, good properties. However, the best stock gets sold off market. So this is the tuna that John West rejects, so to speak. If you want to get the best tuna, you've got to be greeting the fishermen at 5 o'clock in the morning, at 4 o'clock in the morning when the boats come in, because that's where John West is getting all the best tuna. Pre-market and advanced listings are where an agent or an agency has been given an exclusive listing to sell a property, but the property hasn't been advertised yet. During this time, prior to advertising, which is about two weeks, where photographs and are being taken and marketing materials being prepared, the real estate agent may give a few shortlisted buyers or other agents a chance to get in first. What happens normally from a practical perspective is this. Developers who target specific areas, and I'm talking about from mum and dad developers to, to institutional developers, identify themselves to agents in the particular area. So you might be a developer that, and you might do six townhouse developments per year in an area, let's say, for example, Elwood, St Gilda, St Gilda East, St Gilda West, Hampton, you know, Sandringham. So you go to all the agents and say, look, we're looking for the following site. We need a 24-metre frontage, 1,000 square metre block. The, we're already like, in the market now. If you find that property, here's my card, you call me. So as an agent... Once you get that listing, okay, which could be someone that's selling their house, you're not going to go through the trouble of creating all the marketing materials and brochures and everything and then, and then have open for inspection and auction the property off. 
where you could just sell the property right there and then. Okay, because remember, agents work on very small retainers, 30, 40 grand a year, and the rest is commission. So they're looking for the fastest way to sell something. So the best development sites in Melbourne get sold completely off market through pre-market listings. Also, it might be a development, for example, of six townhouses in Black Rock. And you might have an investor who's pre-approved and he's looking for a townhouse in Black Rock up to 1.7 million. The moment it lists, you ring him and he'll get the best one in the development. That's also how a lot of good uh, properties get snapped up. Then the leftover stock gets listed on realestate.com and domain. So a lot of times, guys, the best properties get snapped up before they even hit the market. Off-market listings is where my company operates in predominantly is a transaction that occurs when the property hasn't been and won't likely ever be advertised in any way, shape, or form. The vendor does not want the property on the market or has established a relationship with an agent who can sell his property without advertising any mainstream media advertising. Why would this happen, number one? Celebrities, for example, do not want their homes open to the public. Okay? If you're a major um, either movie star or a sports celebrity, for example, Shane Warne, when he sold his house in Brighton, he doesn't want everyone coming through his house because half the suburb will go through just to see what, you know, what his house looks like. So a lot of private individuals that are high net worth or have a public profile prefer to sell their homes off market. They go to the top agents in the area, they talk about their property, and say, so if you've got any potential buyers, release the information on, on an ad hoc basis one-to-one. -one. Don't put it out there. And that's where a lot of properties get sold. Another reason is you might have families that have a legal dispute over properties or wealth, or you just don't want someone to let their family know how much they're getting for the house. You know, um, you, might, you, might do, you might have a family where they're living in different parts of Melbourne, some are doing better than others, and you just want to keep that information private. I know a lot of families where individuals have sold properties, and the number one reason was, I just don't want my friends and family to know how much we sold the house for, you know, because they'll just be... <laughs> They don't want to have that information out there. Um, also, developers um, tend to deal with, with uh, certain agencies and develop properties specifically designed for investors that sell off market as well. Most of the projects that I source for my private clients are completely off market. And this is how simple, this is how it works. After identifying the top 45 best suburbs in Melbourne, the growth suburbs, which are predominantly in the Bayside and the inner south, southeast, all I used to do is ring up a developer and say, hi, Mr. Developer, I see you've got a development in Brighton of seven townhouses. I've got clients already pre-approved, um, ready to go. Would you like to have a coffee? Um, we, I, can, I want to buy your whole development. It's that simple. Or hi, Mr. Developer, I've noticed you've got pre-approved for four townhouses in Cheltenham. I've got four investors pre-approved for 700,000 that are looking for three-bedroom townhouses in Cheltenham. Can we catch up for a coffee? What do you think the developer's going to say? No, stuff you, Conrad. I don't want to catch up for a coffee. I want to waste three months of my life <laughs> marketing the, the property out there, paying thousands of dollars in advertising. Of course he's going to catch up with me. And that's how I've sourced most of my projects for my clients. I've sourced them based on location, the fundamentals of the area, but, but the majority of them are off market. So, you have, so basically, that's the type of listings. Then you have different types of industry players. You've got traditional real estate agents, which is Ray White, Hocking Stewart, you know, the big boys selling predominantly to mums and dads through auctions. And that's the main industry that's 90% of all the stock being sold. You've also got project marketers out there, like Collier's, CBRE, Century 21, where what they'll do is they'll focus on one development at a time. So for example, um, they might be given a tower uh, of 250 apartments, and they sell, they'll, they'll sit on that for a year and a half until they sell all, and they'll go to another project, another project. You also have developers that get so big, they start selling their own stock. So for example, Central Equity, Mervec's a good example, selling um, the development currently in Doncaster, the old, the old golf course in Doncaster, they got rezoned. And Mervec will hire their own agents, and they'll have a display suite, and they'll be selling that project over the next you know, number of years before it's all sold out. Simon's another example. Then you can buy as advocates, which I'm a big fan of, in fact, I'm thinking of setting up a buyer's advocacy service for my company as of 1st of July 2017. So stay tuned for some videos that will be coming out informing my clients that's going to happen. And this is some of the best ones in Melbourne, the Secret Agent, Wakeland, Advantage Property Group, 
where they'll charge you a fee for finding a really good property out there. So they might charge you five, 10, 15, 20 grand, depending on the price point, obviously, of the property, and they'll go out and find a really good property from other agents or vendors out there for you. And they work for you, not the vendor, okay? What my company does is different from all these others, okay? What we do is we're a sourcing specialist. And I believe we're the only one in Australia that does exactly, specifically what we do. So what we do that's different is this. Um, we've identified key blue chip suburbs in Melbourne that have outperformed the other suburbs. Just to give you an understanding of Melbourne, if you're from interstate, there's 390 suburbs in Melbourne. About 198 have doubled in median price in the last 10 years. But 45 have really shot up and have tripled in terms of price appreciation for the last you know, 10 years. So what I'm doing is I'm focusing all my attention on those best top 45 suburbs, which means the stock that I source is not cheap. In fact, the cheapest townhouses that I tend to get are around the 550, 600 mark. Majority of the stock is around 750 to 950. And definitely the best stock is around 1 million and 50 to 2 million, $2 million you know. So I target the suburb first, then the property, not the property itself and then the suburb. If the suburb doesn't fit my criteria, I don't source the property. I've got access to over 4,000 properties at any one time, but I only transact 75 to 100 in one year. So I might have a developer with 10 projects. Some projects have four properties, some have 30, but I might choose and pick which properties I want depending on what my clients are doing with their property portfolios. So I'm very selective and I choose the best properties in each project that match my client's criteria and investment objectives. So I'm not only as a real estate agent doing a transaction, I'm actually thinking about it from an investment perspective of you know, what's the best property to target and how do I find the property that matches their objectives. In terms of capital gain, but also rental return, um, future rental return, depreciation, all those kind of considerations. I've got access to off-market developments that will never hit the mainstream market. In fact, most projects that I've sold and sourced over the last three to five years have never been advertised on realestate.com on domain and they have no internet or any kind of website advertising at all. So you're never going to find them listed anywhere. I negotiate very special deals and discounts on behalf of my buyers in some circumstances in the right part of this property cycle. I reject 95% of all properties that are offered to me. Um, and the most important thing is that I'm an investor myself, guys. I'm not a real estate agent. I became a real estate agent later on when I was already a very successful property investor. So I look at properties very differently from a local agent that might not have any investment properties behind them. You know? um, so that, that insight is, is very much invaluable. I also do unbiased education um, around property. Um, and that's why I run workshops and write my books and articles and I do YouTube videos just to educate the next generation of investors out there so they can benefit from, from my knowledge and knowledge of other experts out there. Here's some examples that I've sourced recently. This is in Yarraville, and these are townhouses, 810 to 835,000, two and three bedrooms, off market completely. Um, so, you know, Yarraville is a great area to invest in Melbourne, always done well. This is another development in Brunswick, which is 14 townhouses, 765 to 850. Brunswick, one of the trendiest areas in Melbourne, great, you know, cafe culture, very trendy, very hip, hipster uh, suburb. <laughs> Um, and it was the case, the same thing when, when I was growing up, you know, in my teens. Um, I mean, it was one of the areas we used to hang out in. Um, once again, great, great two and three bedroom townhouses, some with a rooftop terraces, which is a very appealing part of, um, of Brunswick. This is a development in Brighton consisting of seven apartments, which is completely off market. Um, once again, I source this directly from the developer. You'll never see it advertised anyway, in any way, shape or form. Um, and it's half sold just to private investors. Um, great development. Also, this is in Edith Vale, and this is in a situation where there's actually other agents in this project because it's 48 townhouses. I only wanted six in the project, which were the six backing the park, um, and that's all I sourced in this project. So in some, in some circumstances, I'll choose and pick the best ones out of the project, and I'll let the local agents sell the rest, especially if it's a bigger project, to get that uh, owner occupied element in the project. Uh, so, once again, they're four bedroom. This is in Parkville, um, townhouses for $1.4 million, um, three bedroom townhouses, once again, completely off market. 
Um, four townhouses, architecture designed, two are sold, two are available. And once again, if you go there today to that address, you won't see any boards or anything up there. The whole project will be sold completely off market. Um, it's a great little project. This is in Ascot Vale, nine townhouses have just started construction on that project. And once again, these are just under a million dollars, three bedroom double lockup garage, off market completely, Ascot Vale, great area, eight Ks from the city. And this is on Fish's Parade, which is overlooking um, the Maribyrnong River. So it's right there um, with amazing views. <clears throat> and once again, really good, good um, you know, design. And this is what the floor plan is, by the way. <laughs> this is digressing a little bit. But I'm finding a lot of these townhouses are having the entire middle level open plan living with the bedrooms upstairs and downstairs, which is really cool. Um, and also, I get from time to time, I target areas that are up and coming. Like Sunshine used to be very rough as an area, Sunshine North, for example. Um, but it's still cheap and it's still close to the city. It's 11 k from the city. So I source this um, development here, for which is now not available. Um, I've put the clients in there. Um, two bedroom townhouses, 500,000, and three bedroom is 625. So I do go for areas sometimes that are up and coming areas that are transitioning from an average area into an up and coming area. Um, and once again, this project's not available, but this is the kind of stock that I'm sourcing all the time you know, for, my, for my clients. Um, so once again, who can benefit from this information? So if you're a couple and you're working full time and you have an income of roughly let's say $120,000 between the both of you, and you've got about 100 grand in equity as a minimum, you can come to me and I can start helping you build your property portfolio. So basically, if your combined income, once again, is about 120 k per year, or for a single person, let's say 70 or 80,000, and you've got access to at least 100,000 in equity, and that's accessible equity, so this is income, this is equity. And your objective is to buy brand new properties, just completed or off the plan, meaning you get the maximum tax benefits, depreciation, but also no headaches, building guarantee, warranties on everything. You know, so it's all brand new. And obviously brand new is the most appealing type of property for, for tenants versus you know all the properties. Then definitely that's something that I can help you with. All you gotta do is click the link below, get in contact with me, send me an email, or give me a call on the mobile and I'll be able to help you fast track and build your property portfolio um, from, from as soon as we get in contact with each other. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, so if you have any questions, um, feel free to email me. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to, that you subscribe to my video channel. Um, this is Conrad Bobilak. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the inside.